Hi Saviors, GH here, it's time again for our monthly videos wherein I share to you guys the games I played and this one is for the month of September, a month full of new games that I got hooked on, single player games, multiplayer MMOs and strategy games. We're gonna talk about that in this video and with that said, let's do this. Okay, first game, Tree of Savior. To tell you the truth, I'm taking a break from the game, not really fully stopping. I'm just doing weeklies and maybe challenge mode and that's about it. September is the month where we got new updates, basically new items to work on. But the problem right now is the Krakens and Whales are buying stuff for insane amount of prices. And I don't want to take part on that. I'm just gonna wait for the Krakens to get what they want. And then, when the materials are cheap, that's where I come in. When the updates rolled out, I noticed a significant decrease of players on most of the servers I play on. We should be getting more players, right? Because we just got a new season server and new updates. But turns out, when I talked to some of my subs and friends on Discord, most of them told me that they are overwhelmed by the updates and they haven't even got an art stone yet and the game has new stuff to work on and they feel like they're chasing their own tail and they don't feel like slaving away in challenge mode anymore. I understand the path that IMC is taking right now is not in favor of the majority of players but instead only on the paying ones. They gotta earn some money but they gotta find the right balance because right now everything is in favor of the P2W. <laughs> if IMC doesn't address this soon, I fear that we might see a significant decrease in the player base. Especially in this time that we got new awesome free-to-play games that are less pay to win and more free-to-play friendly. So IMC, please listen to the community for once because the future contains MMORPG of the future like Fantasy Star Online New Genesis and there's another one, Blue Protocol which is basically Genshin Impact but it's fully MMORPG and those games will definitely take more of your player base and I'm not gonna lie that will include me. Next game is Gacha Impact. <laughs> it's a free-to-play action role-playing game developed and published by MiHoYo. It's open world and it's one of the best free-to-play games I've played in a while. I'm not gonna waste time anymore. I'm gonna recommend it to you immediately. Go play this game, stop wasting your time, download it, and play one of the best free-to-play games of 2020. Now, content creation. I know some of you have been asking me, am I going to make content for Genshin Impact? The answer is yes. But I have to max out first and get a load of characters before I go full gacha impact creator. <laughs> so for now, you will see a few videos because I'm playing the game at the moment. Doing dailies, hunting bosses, meeting old friends from other MMOs. I played and playing with them in Genshin Impact. I freaking love this game. This gave me another opportunity to meet up and play with my old MMO friends, dating back to the golden age of Ragnarok Online. This game is awesome. Go ahead and play it. It's Gaming Hardcore Certified. And speaking of Gaming Hardcore Certified games, next game is Gorgon Tales. It's a mobile game, but you can play it on your PC using an emulator. It's a retro action adventure RPG game, kinda like Legend of Zelda. If you're like me who grew up playing a lot of Legend of Zelda games, you will love this one because you can say it's Legend of Zelda but on steroids. <laughs> it's online, you do dailies, endless tower, collecting heroes and playing the story. And I can say the story is very nice, I'm actually having fun playing the story mode of the game. I can't believe it. I've always thought that the only good games on mobile is the MOBA kind of games like Mobile Legends, Marble Super War, those kind of games. But Gorgon Tales changed it all because finally I really do believe that mobile game developers are getting it now. I hope the future of mobile games is like this. Not the cash grab games that we've been seeing time and time again. Anyways, play Gorgon Tales. You won't regret it. This game is gaming hardcore certified. Let's do this. Next game is Frostpunk. It's a city building survival game developed and published by 11-bit studios. I consider this as one of the best PC game of 2020. These are the kind of games that I wanna see more on PC. And recently, they just released a new DLC that added a new story campaign in the game and it's awesome. 
it's so good that I avoid playing it because when I start playing Frostpunk, suddenly time flies and it eats up my whole day without me even realizing that I haven't done any content for the channel. It's that good but bad for me because I ain't productive when I'm playing Frostpunk. So if you have a lot of time, purchase Frostpunk and I tell you, you won't regret it. The story of the game is one of the best I've experienced in a while. And you guys know me, I'm the skip skip continue continue confirm guy. But on Frostpunk, I put an effort on reading the story bits. Because it gives me an insight on what's happening on the story. I but can't say anything more positive about this game. I want more Snow. Frostpunk. So please, support the game. So we see Frostpunk Unstable. too. Next game is Pokey MMO. It's a Pokemon MMO. I started playing this just for my 2020 videos. And I ended up playing it daily. Not hardcore though, cause I already finished Pokemon Black and White. And I mainly mingle around learning things, what's different about this game from the OG Pokemon games. Aside from the people you see playing and dueling, it's fun. I wish Nintendo would just take this development team and just legalize Poke MMO. Cause it's awesome. It's what I've been waiting in a Pokemon game. I hope for the best for the development team of Poke MMO. More power to you guys. Last game is Fall Guys. You guys know this. This is very popular. It's a Viking Go Ninja Warrior game that is very fun to watch. And you know what? It's also fun to play. <laughs> I wish they made this free to play so that more people can play this. And that's it guys, the games I played in September 2020. Hope you guys like it. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share, and then subscribe to be part of the Gaming Hardcore family. And as always, this is Gaming Hardcore. See you in the next one. Oh my god. We gotta do it properly. Okay, this is... Ah! <laughs> Get out of the way! Don't disqualify it! Don't qualify!